Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these coffee filter banners. I've got one down here below and then I've got another set up up here. I'll show you how to do it. Um, so the one down below um, is made out of the coffee filters that are this shape. It's kind of like a little cone. It actually just opens up kind of like a little cup. Um, so that's what I had on hand when I first started practicing how to make it and I guess I haven't done it for a while um, and I like how that one turned out but then I wanted to see what it looked like to do it with the circle copy holder so let's start and I'll show you how it is done I'm actually hosting a baby shower this weekend um, so if you um, want to see how I decorate for that party using this banner go ahead and click down below at the end and I'll show you or I'll put a link down below of that video um, so this can be used for baby showers or birthday parties or um, Valentine's Day is coming up so that would be a fun thing to do um, let me just show you we have a bowl right here of um, water with food coloring in it you can do any color you'd like um, I'm doing pink obviously then you just take the coffee filter and just open it up just a bit. I'm going to take, just you can do this whole stack, but I'm just going to take a few to start with. And then you just soak it. I have one glove on, you can do two gloves. I just don't want to get my hand dyed. Pink. And then squeeze them out really, really good. Um, while you're kind of dipping these and, oops. Um, spreading them out you can preheat your oven to 225 or 250 or so um, and now it doesn't matter what's that kind of dipped but you pre preheat your oven to 225 and um, you're gonna bake these in the oven to get them to dry out faster and to kind of go crispy so you can dunk a whole bunch at a time set the whole thing in there um, and then Ring them out really good, and then you're just going to separate them like that. I think I only actually got two. So you're going to separate them out, and I just lay them on a cookie sheet. Um, kind of can layer them a little bit, but the more exposed they are, the quicker they're going to dry. And you put them in the oven at 225 for like five minutes. It doesn't take very long. They dry out, and then they get nice and crispy. I have them right here. So they just, you can hear them. They're nice and crumply so they just kind of get nice and uh, thick so this is just like they came out of the oven they're nice and puffy um, and then what we're gonna do and there's no science to this you can do a needle and thread if you have like a thinner thread or ribbon but today I'm going to use um, twine I have some pink twine that I'm going to use. I've already started this one here. So I've got twine there. So you can take a couple at a time. So I'm going to show you different ways to do this. So you can either just grab something sharp with a pencil. You could even like hole punch it if you wanted to. I'm just going to poke a hole in it. I have the end of my twine. Twine is hard to get into needles, so I don't like to bother with that. So I'm just going to pull enough of a hole and then pull it through. And it's really as easy as that. You can also, if you don't want the mark of the pencil on there, I did it this way the other day. Just cut a little notch. And then Find it with your finger and again poke it through. So this can go pretty fast if you're stacking them up and kind of feeding them on there. Um, multiple at a time. So then once you get all of them on there then, uh, okay, so as soon as you get a whole bunch on here, um, what you're going to want to do 
is um, start to crumple them. And you're just gonna grab one at a time. It's gonna add the most effect. So you just grab one at a time and you're just gonna scrunch them. And you're just gonna go all the way down. Really isn't gonna take that, that much time. You can even get your kids doing this. Um, they like to feel like they're destroying something even when it actually is not destroying it. So you're just gonna go all the way down until it's as thick as you want it. Um, I'm gonna add more to mine eventually. But we'll show you here what it looks like more puffed up. All right, so there that is. Click on the link below and you can see how I decorate using this banner for my baby shower. Have a good day and make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you and have a good day.